Hey everybody, it's Samwise. Happy almost fall. Um, and welcome to another video about the herb of the month. And this month's herb is Vitex. Not because I have a Vitex here to show you. <laughs> um, it's typically a plant that likes warmer climates. Um, it originates in the Mediterranean, North Africa. So um, folks um, in ornamental gardening like to plant it in warmer regions like California. Um, and that's kind of where I met this plant. But the reason why I wanted to talk about it as the herb of the month, even though it's not immediately around me, is because I am starting a mini series of the podcast that I produce, Herb at the End of the World, and that will be exploring herbal abortions and um, herbs to help support cycle regulation and tracking, um, and just learning about plants for generative and reproductive systems that can help us um, get in more touch with our cycles um, in a safe way. And um, I wanted to start with Vitex because you know, as I kind of move into these topics, it kind of opens up a whole world of pain <laughs> and suffering and also joy and beauty. But um, when we start talking about herbs for reproductive systems and generative systems, um, we can encounter a, a lot of dis-ease. So I'm thinking about... <sighs> PMS, cramping, endometriosis, fibroids, um, uh, you know, cycles that have gotten dysregulated for one reason or another, and how all that can come up in addition to when we're thinking about these big political shifts that are impacting our access to abortion and um, medical care. So it kind of just opens the box to a lot of that. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd meet that with Vitex because it's a really great plant to start with when starting to think about um, caring for um, if one is a person that bleeds um, and cycles with hormones like estrogen and progesterone, um, then it's a nice one to start with because um, it can help even out um, dysregulation and uh, it's known as amphoteric, um, which means a little bit of this and a little bit of that, says David Hoffman, medical herbalism. <laughs> And what that means is that it can help regulate our cycles and bring them into balance, even if they're dysregulated in different ways. So typically in the literature, um, it Vitex helps us upregulate progesterone and downregulate estrogen. Um, there are a lot of like dysregulation when there's too much estrogen in the system, which is, um, and I invite you to listen to the next episode of Urban at the end of the world with um, Bonnie Rose Weaver, who's a clinical herbalist, really breaks down these cycles um, when those hormones are most present in our systems. Because um, when we have just bled and are getting ready to ovulate, that's when estrogen is the most prevalent, um, typically. <laughs> and um, after we ovulate until when we bleed again is when uh, progesterone starts um, ramping up. So. Vitex is a plant that can help bring those and other hormones um, into balance by kind of acting on the endocrine system as a whole. And um, just a little bit about the plant. We, I will put a picture of the plant and the, um, the art for this video. And I also invite you to, to look up an image of it because it's, it's quite pretty. It's like a small tree or shrub, typically. Um, they can get like kind of big. And they have thin, oh, they're in the vervain family, which I love. Um, I love a good vervain. <laughs> Feels very witchy for me. Um, they have long, thin palmate leaves that kind of come out from like one central source and kind of splay out a little. And it's the berries that we use. So the berries will typically be green when they're um, not quite ripe. And then this like silvery purple typically, um, or like whitish when they're ready to use as medicine. So we can tincture those berries um, in alcohol. But my favorite way to do that is with apple cider vinegar and honey, because the berries themselves can be very pungent. Um, they can be very like pungent, <laughs> spicy, earthy, floral. Um, and uh, I find that the apple cider vinegar and honey really cuts some of the like really intense hit you in the face pungency um, and lets that floral like beautiful quality really shine. And um, 
Yeah, it's it's a powerful regulatory herb and like many like herbs that act on systems like the endocrine system that have been in place for a long time, they work the best when we give them time to work. So using this plant for at least three months, if not up to a year to resolve issues like PMS. Um, uh, it can help with endometriosis. It can help relieve hormone related constipation. Um, it can help relieve fibroids, um, especially if they're in like the muscle lining kind of fibroids. Um, and yeah, they can also, they work at different like times of life as well. Um, they can help in the teenage years when like our cycles can be kind of all over the place and, and we can experience acne, it can help bring some of those hormones into balance. It helps kind of in midlife when folks are like fertile-ish um, or not and help regulate our cycles so that we can track them. And that's something that we'll talk a lot about in this upcoming episode is the utility and, and, and the practice of tracking our cycles so that we can learn when we are more or less fertile if we're experiencing sex with sperm um, and how to also plan for when our, how our energies are at different times in our cycles, which can be really helpful to notice over time and not overbook ourselves like some of us do. <laughs> Um, and this plant can also be helpful um, in menopause. Um, really, really helpful when paired with motherwort uh, for folks who are in menopause and experiencing um, hot flashes can really um, reduce or eliminate hot flashes, especially when paired with motherwort. It can treat um, headaches and depression, reduce like bloating, and um, it can address vaginal dryness, um, which can happen to folks um, when estrogen and progesterone change and during menopause. So um, yeah, that's kind of a little bit about the plant itself. Um, I've used it in the past and it did help me get really regular, which was really helpful. I know it's never like super, super irregular, but it did help me kind of get to a point where like I was really um, more or less like on a predictable bleeding schedule, which was really helpful for me to be able to plan my life um, and just to like get to know my body better. Um, and yeah, for me in particular, I think I have progesterone, like too much progesterone, which is the, the last later part of the cycle. Um, but it is helpful for folks who don't have, especially don't have enough progesterone and that can come up in like PMS, um, endometriosis, um, different, different stuff that um, require more of a balance. Um, if you're curious about how to use this plant, I really encourage working with a practitioner because there are more plants to use. There are ways to um, balance and address like the particularities of each person's constitution. And um, it can be also just be really helpful to talk to somebody who knows about how to <sighs> regulate cycles over time and have some accompaniment around that because sometimes that can feel frustrating when it takes a long time to even out. Um, but yeah, I really like thinking about this plant too when kind of beginning conversations about how to support, um, track, and uh, manage fertility cycles. Um, because it has really like, to me, it has this very fierce auntie protective energy. It's very, how I experience it and people experience plants in many different ways. I experience it as um, strong and not in like a uncomfortable, you know, like, oh, this plant is really moving me like cayenne, like, ah, it's hot. It's not like that, more just, um, yeah, like, like really strong, sassy, fierce, auntie energy. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's come up for me at different times in my life, most notably like when I was in herb school and um, I wanted to make some medicine out of Vitex. I was like sitting in, in a, um, in the yard and like processing it and putting it into the jar and um, the place where I was living at the time uh, was a farm and um, the person who was the ex-husband of one of my housemates came up and started yelling at my, my housemate and like being kind of threatening in like a patriarchal way. And um, as I was processing this Vitex, I was witnessing all of this happening. 
and um, my cat's getting feisty over there as I talk about it. And in that moment while I was like processing this Vitex, I really felt like my fierce femme ancestor is kind of like coming all around me and being and talking to me, you know, and 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 making a plan like in a in that moment I was like oh if he ever tries to hurt my housemate or us like here's the plan I have and I ended up using that plan to protect us um unfortunately and um yeah so for me this plan is really about planning um and protection and like a softness also like protecting what is um, alive and vital in us. And, um, yeah, I am excited to start there with this conversation about how we can support our bodies, um, with the plants around us and how that can look different for different folks. So, um, I encourage you to stay tuned for the next couple of episodes of Herb at the End of the World that are coming out. Um, I'm really, really excited about the conversations that I'm having with um, my friend and first herb teacher, Bonnie Rose Weaver, um, talking about um, like cycle regulation and tracking cycles. And then um, another episode that um, I'll be recording with a herbal abortion doula um, or just an abortion doula in general. And um, yeah, so I'm really excited for these conversations. I encourage you to check them out. And um, yeah, let's keep learning and growing about ways to support our health and well being um, in our communities. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for all t of the patrons who support my work. Um, thank you so much for keeping on, keeping on in these wild times. It really supports me in being able to make content like this um, and do research like this and um, create learning tools like this. So um, thank you for being amazing and I will talk to you soon.